Hey guys, I am Andy and this is Alan and we are back. It is Whiteboard Wednesday where we unpack information that helps your church. If you could do us a huge favor, please like and share this video so we can continue putting out content like this for you guys every single week. So today we're going to be talking about video equipment and what you will need for your first video setup for your church. Uh, so the purpose of this video setup is going to be for uh, anything you may need in-house like service announcements, testimonial videos, interviews. Yeah, lots of great stuff. This will not be a setup for a live stream. So this is something that you will shoot, edit, and then post. So a lot of great stuff. Perfect. So Alan has put together a list of some video equipment here and uh, with this equipment, uh, it just really helps you to get the best bang for your butt for each piece right here. So let's get started, Alan. What do we got here? Yeah, let's talk first of all about the camera, the biggest ticket item and probably what most of you are going to be interested in. I've actually got a Panasonic G7 here, which is going to be what's on our list. I'm going to try and move through all of this really fast because we've got a lot of stuff, but don't worry, it's all going to be on Church Hacks. You'll have links to everything and we're going to list it all out for you. So G7, Panasonic G7 possibly one of the most underrated cameras on the market right now shoots 4k uh, you can see here it's got the swivel touch screen and all of that that's really nice uh, but what's important here is that the image quality that comes out of this is just really great it's got a micro four-thirds sensor uh, if you're familiar with it you can use converters for maybe some lenses that you already have and at $700, it comes with a lens, which is a really great price point. Talk about putting you ahead. I mean, having 4K capability. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Really... 4K, 4K is coming. We know it's coming. So we're, we're going to get out ahead of the curve just a little bit here uh, by being able to shoot in 4K right now. And if we deliver at 1080p, which is kind of the standard right now, that means you can zoom into the image and not lose that resolution. So I'm going to write the price point here at... $700. And again, this is our biggest ticket item. We're trying to keep all of this under $1,500. That brings us to the next thing here, number two, our lens. We've already mentioned that the 14 to 42 millimeter lens comes with the camera at the $700 price point. I'm just going to mention the 20 millimeter pancake lens, which is an f stop of 1.7. What does that mean? The lower this number, the better that lens is going to perform in low light. So the 14 to 42 with a 3.5 to 5.6, as you zoom, your image is going to get darker. It's a great lens to get started with, super sharp, it has image stabilization, but if you'd like to spend just a little bit more, the 20 millimeter 1.7 is a great place to turn. And that's going to come in at $250. Now I'm going to cross this out because this isn't part of our budget, we've already got our lens on that. Next thing we're going to look at here is a microphone. You need a good microphone. You can't just have uh, the onboard, the, the camera that is on, or I'm sorry, the microphone that is on the camera. That's not what you want to use. You need to have a good microphone. We're going to recommend uh, one of the Rode NTG cameras. This is an, or uh, NTG microphones. This is the NTG2. This is also what we're using on the camera that we're uh, speaking to right now. The NTG2 is, uh, it's just, Highly recommended, obviously, but it's it's a great microphone. Uh, it, it's noise canceling on the sides and it, and it picks up in the front. It's called a shotgun mic. And so uh, if you're shooting something, you'll put the microphone kind of over your subject and that way different people can come in and out of the shot and they'll still be picked up on the microphone. That price point is gonna come in at $250 for the NTG2. Now the three and four are available. I'd recommend you look at it, but for our price point, we're gonna stick with the two. I just wanna kinda of point out just how important it is to have a, a good quality microphone, because you know, just people have said that they'd rather listen to something with good sound quality over something with good picture quality. So just sounds yeah, so absolutely. important when it comes to recording these kind of videos. Absolutely, it's the most important. And so audio is gonna be really important. I know that seems like a, a high price point, but you want to invest in a good microphone that has good sound. Next thing we're looking at, looking at is a preamp. Now, uh, you may not know what this is. I'm going to explain really quick. With a preamp, this is going to allow you to bring a quality microphone that has an XLR signal back into the camera. Now, with the G7 that we've talked about here, this does not have any XLR inputs. It has one microphone input. That microphone input is going to come out of your preamp. We're going to recommend the uh, Ceremonic Smart Rig Plus, and the plus is important here. There is a Ceremonic uh, smart rig that doesn't have the plus that comes in at around $30, but I'm really going to recommend you get the plus. It's going to do a lot better and it's going to uh, provide what you need for that XLR. And so that comes in at $100 as we add that to our budget. Next thing let's talk about 
memory cards. These are really important, especially as you get into a 4K camera like the G7. You can't just pop any memory card in there. What you're going to look for is a little icon on there that has a U and a 3 in the middle. Don't trust all of the megabits and megabytes per second numbers that might be on there. A lot of times that's the read speed and not the write speed. Not to mention it's not really guided by anything. There are no rules as to its accuracy. There are rules as to the accuracy of this. If it is U3 and that'll be a class 10, so you'll see something like that with a 10 on it. Again, we're going to put this on church hacks. But a U3, you're going to need that. A lot of times it will say on the packaging that this memory card will work with a 4K camera. So that's going to come in at about $60 for a 128 gigabyte card. And you're going to need something big for 4K footage. You don't want to be just recording a couple minutes, emptying out, right, going back. Right, right. Just... And if you get like a 4 or an 8 gigabyte card, it sounds like a lot. But when you're recording video at 4K, you're going to be swapping those cards out a lot. So $60 is a great price point for a card like that. Let's move on to uh, something to carry your equipment in. Uh, not just your camera, but your microphones and anything else that we're going to talk about here. We want to put it in uh, someplace we can protect it. And so I'm going to recommend, uh, just for sake of our budget here, that you just pick up an Amazon backpack. I have one of these. I love it. You can pick one up for $25. bucks. we are going to add that to our bottom line here. And uh, I'll also mention a Pelican case. I'm partial to the Pelican 1510 model, which uh, is kind of the maximum size that you can bring as a carry-on on an airplane. It's a little more expensive, so we're, we're not going to include it in this. But the backpack is going to be great because uh, this is a camera backpack. It's already got everything lined up so you can drop a lens in here and a camera in there and a place for the microphone. And so uh, just get on Amazon. We'll leave a link to that. 25 bucks, great price point. You can't complain. Can't beat that price. Number seven, let's talk about a teleprompter. Now, Andy and I both know this. Whenever you go in front of the camera, if you don't know exactly what you're going to say, I mean, you, you just never know. The moment that record <laughs> yeah. button turns on, you just, every kind of thing. Your mind goes you blank. Yeah. Uh, you start thinking forget about your food. name. Yeah. <laughs> there's yeah, a, leave the coffee pot on. There's, there's so much that happens. And if you have a teleprompter, uh, this is going to allow you to just read the lines that you've already prepared ahead of time. And I've got one here I'm going to show you, actually. This teleprompter here, you can see that it's got a place to put your iPad. And uh, then on here, uh, the, the lens will look through that glass. And there's something that covers that up that I don't have here. But uh, we're going to recommend a specific model. And that is the uh, Glide Gear TMP50. And uh, this one, actually, uh, we're going to leave a link for this specific model because I really like it because it's made to work with an iPad or an iPhone. And the price point on this is $140. And uh, that, that's really affordable for a teleprompter. If you very a important. Thing. Yes, very important. You want to get a teleprompter. Yes. This, this is great if you're working with volunteers or anything oh, like absolutely. that. People that aren't comfortable or aren't used to being on camera. So it's going to help you a lot. Let's move on to number eight here. You need a tripod. Now, don't get a junk tripod for a camera that you've just spent $700 on. So uh, there, there are a lot of tripods out there, lots of great ones. I'm going to give you a quick uh, kind of a list of things to look for when you buy a tripod. There's four brands that are really going to hit the market at very decent tripods. Uh, the Gitzo brand is kind of like the Rolls Royce of tripods. You're going to spend a lot of money. You're going to have very fluid heads, and everything's going to work really nicely. Benro is more like the Yugo of tripods. So uh, I really like the Yugo brand. They make some great stuff, but they really just kind of make a lot of the same stuff uh, that Gitzo does at, at a cheaper price point. So uh, Gitzo, Manfrotto is under that. Under that, you have Enduro, and Benro's kind of at, at the bottom of the line, but I definitely wouldn't shy away from it. They, they do make some quality stuff. I found a Benro tripod that you can pick up, and uh, the price on that comes in at $160, and this has doubled legs, and it's really going to support all the equipment that you've just invested a lot of money so in. So don't go out and buy a $10 tripod that yeah. you're going to set your $700 camera on with your $250 mic. I mean, yeah, I, and we've probably, we've probably all used a tripod like that that's made out of uh, carbon fiber <laughs> or, or aluminum, something really light. You, you tap it, and not only does the whole camera picture shake, but it's very likely to fall over. Get something, uh, invest in something that's going to protect the gear that you've invested in. Last thing we're going to talk about here is lighting. Again, there's a lot of options, a lot of choices here. I'm just going to give you some things to look for. We want lighting that is, first of all, LED. The reason for that is that the lights aren't going to heat up the same. And then uh, they're, they're, uh, gonna, so they're going to be energy efficient, but they're also uh, going to make a lot more sense as you try to soften the light by dimming it, things like that. And that brings to the other things you need, soft light 
you want dimmable light. So you can get on Amazon and get a decent LED light for around $100. Now, if you'd like to spend more, you can go all the way up to uh, a Westcott is a really good brand. But you're probably going to spend about eight or $900 to get a decent LED light from them. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to stick with the $100, and we're just going to dim the light a little bit if we need to, or turn it up brighter if we need to. It's a really great light, and it, it's something that will that'll light the subject and make everybody look great on the camera. So that is our entire budget. This is everything, and that brings us to a total here, grand total, of $1,535, which is great for Talk about a great yeah, budget for your higher the entire setup there's cameras uh, that are more than yeah that. Uh, the camera that we're shooting on right now which only only is 1080 it's not even 4k uh, this is about a six thousand dollar camera brand new with no lenses no microphone nothing like that so this is just a great place to get started i, I don't think anybody's going to be disappointed with this well, awesome. Thank you so much for putting this together for us, Alan. Uh, just to reiterate, we will be posting an equipment list on Church Hacks, and this list will have links to where you can buy all of this. We'll just make it really easy for you guys. So we hope this was helpful to you guys. Uh, if you could do us a huge favor, just like and share this video, and we will be seeing you guys next week.